Okay, so I want to continue setting up this project and no matter how um, every project is going to be different um, when you set these projects up and this is this is a plumbing project so each project that you set up is going to be different because the architect is going to have a different set of criteria for its uh, floor plans or let's say for its um, for its project so there's not a set of rules there are some basic rules that you can go by but each project is going to be different so I just want to point that out while I'm setting up this uh, plumbing project. Um, that is part of auto desk um, sample drawings that comes with Revit. Okay, so what I'm looking at is the um, uh, parking plan. I set up a foundation plan, but I don't know if I'm going to use this guy or not. I mean, it, it could be used, but I thought I was going to set up a foundation plan, but I'm not going to do that. I think I'm just going to have a parking, parking sanitary and a parking um, uh, water. I'm going to follow what the, uh, the plumbing model has. And Revit 24 comes with... Uh, a plumbing model comes with a mechanical model, electrical, structural model. Um, there's a few others, but I'm going to focus on uh, doing this plumbing model. And what they don't have as part of their plan is a foundation plan. So I'm just going to leave that out. So I was going to set it up, but I'm not going to do that. Um, just going to duplicate what the as, as close as I can to what the plumbing model, uh, the sample plumbing model is. And what I'm looking at is, well, there's these two lines, there's, these are floor drains. And what I'm going to do is turn off the plumbing model so you guys can see. Um, this is the, this is my model. And this is the plumbing model. Okay, the one at the top is my model where I'm duplicating what the plumbing model has for the, from the sample uh, drawings. So I'm going to try and recreate that as best I can and see what happens as I go along. There are so, let's see, let's, uh, let's see. So these are from the architect's um, floor plan. And what I'm going to do is recreate um, level one. There's a level one. And these three uh, floor plans have different, uh, they're going to have different view ranges. So I can get into that later. But um, each one of these models, each one of these floor plans has a different, will have a different uh, view range. So I'll be touching on the view range part of this project. So getting back to these levels, this level one is kind of a generic because it, this level and these three are combined into one level because of the differences. There's level two, three, four, five, and we go all the way up to the roof. So what I'm going to do is, is recreate these as much as I can. Okay. So for me, this is going to be a, I'm going to enjoy doing this. Is, and I'm going to, I don't know how long it's going to take me to get from the parking all the way up to the, um, to the roof plan, but I'm going to try and duplicate, uh, see, duplicate as much as I can. And, and to stay on point, to stay on uh, the, the duplication of the existing 
plumbing model as much as I can. And okay, so it is on. So I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is recreate. Let's see if I can get this. And let's do this. Links, let's show all of it and. Um, okay, so what is this? this is um this is a 3D view and what this was was a looks like a foundation. So all of this green line, I think let's do I think I'm going to is it part of the architects? Yeah, okay. And this is that's the architects. I just turned it off, so I don't know what that is now. So uh, let's go up. Let's see how much of this plumbing. So let's, okay. Um, what I'm trying to do is get as much of this existing plumbing model on this 3D view as I can. So what I'm trying to do is recreate all of this. Let's make sure. So if I turn it off, I don't want to turn off, turn on the architect so you guys won't be able to see anything. So I've started this plumbing. This is my plumbing. And what I just turned off was the plumbing models. Let's turn that back on. And I'm trying to recreate all of this information. This is the water coming into the building and it's going up floor by, it's going up to the next, I think this is level three. Let's tab, let's see what that is. Um, park, so it's, it's, it's um, measuring it from the parking, but I think it's level three or level four. Come on, let's, let's go to level four. Oh. Uh, let's go back. <laughs> so anyway, I'm gonna, so as, as the cold water comes up, it goes to each of the rooms and it supplies, uh, uh, the inf it supplies the hot, the hot and cold water to each of the plumbing fixtures. So I'm going to turn on the architect's, uh, model and let's see if I can filter out everything but the um, fixture units. Okay, so I'm gonna customize this and turn off everything. So the only thing I wanna show is the uh, plumbing fixtures. So I'll say all to this, turn everything on. I'll say none and go here and type PL. So I can give, get the plumbing fixtures. I think there's some mechanical equipment in here. There's some, uh, there's a, some water heaters um, point of use water heaters and let's see pipe fittings pipe accessories I'll turn on all of this pipe stuff uh, well no 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 no. what am I doing I just want the plumbing fixtures and the mechanical equipment so I'll leave it at that and let's see what Revit gives us based on that piece of information so these are the um, what what I'm showing now is the architect's uh, plumbing fixtures. And these are the, where are the water heaters? These are the water heaters. Uh, let's tab. And they're 0 0.6 gallon water heaters. Okay, these are tankless. And they're going to each one of the, they're set up um, to supply heat or hot water to each of the uh, rooms, okay? So, or each of the fixtures. So let's say, for example, well, I can get into that later, but this, that water heater, if we can, if I can roll it around just a little bit so I can see what's going on. Um, so this water heater, let's say, so the hot, the cold water comes in and the hot water goes out and then it supplies uh, to the laboratory, supplies to the kitchen sink, 
there's a shower here, there's a toilet here. Uh, what else is in here? Kitchen sink, there's, some of them have two, uh, water, two uh, uh, lavatories. So each one of these, this is the tankless water heater um, that's supplying. So anyway, I am my job <laughs> on YouTube is to what I'm going to do is follow this as much as I can and, and uh, post it up. Uh, hopefully, um, I'm going to my I'm going to try to do it every day, but I know that that's not possible because we all know what procrastination means and we know what we should be doing and we don't do, so I'm not going to say every day. My goal is to do it every day. So it, is, it looks like it's going to be a fun project and I'll go over some, some of the materials and some of the view ranges and, and all of the nuances that goes on with, uh, let's say, when you copy a model and you try and duplicate it as much as possible. So I'm, I'm, that's how I'm treating this particular project, okay? So um, as I go along with this, I hope you guys will look into it, look into each of these sessions. So for me, it's going to be fun.